I'm really sorry, but Jason... Don't talk. Fight. Miss Howard, it sucks what happened in court. I don't want to talk about it. Maybe I should have said something about what happened with you and her at the bachelorette party. Of course, at this point, it's probably new. What happened? Forget about it. Just say it. Miss Howard, she came on to me. I guess you don't think it's mute. It's moot, Milo, moot. Looks good. <laughs> now all I need is your Johnny Hancock. Don't go get in a case of the reluctance now. There are consequences for not playing ball. Oh, well, consequences. You haven't mentioned consequences in, like, what, 10 seconds? Ooh, touchy, touchy. Now, signy, signy. This better work. I need you out of my house and out of my hair as soon as possible. <laughs> Thank you, hubby. Catch you on the flip side. Hi, Dodo. Bye, Dodo. What was that about? Dad, we need to talk. Whatever secret you think you know about Michael, right, you're your wrong. your secret that Michael's biological father, AJ, is alive? Yeah, I already know that. I never, super awesome. I never said you that to you. You didn't have to say that. You face said it all. It's the same face you made when you were four years old and you told me that those weren't your baby alligators in the bathtub. Yeah, that face. Damn it. Cute face. Please, please tell me that you did not tell Carly. Okay, I did not tell Carly. You didn't? Why not? Michael, please just call me back and let me know where you are or I can find you. Sudden not talking to you? Wonder why. Oh, I bet you're pleased. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, enjoy it now because by the time I'm through, you and AJ are going to be laughing it up in adjoining cells. Uh, you're not going anywhere. Not after what you've done to my son. Oh, hey, Duke. It's Anna. Um, just, uh, I, I know you're busy being debriefed in Washington. I just wanted to talk, because I miss talking. You know, we went years without speaking, because we thought you were gone, so... Um, I guess what I'm trying to say is that I'm really glad you're back from the dead. Um, it looks like he's not the only one. I'll call you back. You thought you were clever lying to me? Feeding me with lies that could have been my undoing? But do you know what, pal? They gonna undo you. Lying to me was a mistake. You are exactly what you deserved. And you will get it too. Tough spot, all right? I know, I picked up on that last time I tried to get you to tell me about your obviously phony marriage. And I feel like you were about to confide in me when she rudely interrupted. Is she coming back soon? No, we got time. Okay, so tell me. What does Connie have on you? Tar, my feelings are a little hurt. I didn't tell anyone your secret because it's yours. And while that's sweet and considerate, it's also a blatant lie. And if I told Carly what, what we know about Michael, then she'd ask me where I got my information, then I'd have to rat you out. And believe me, ordinarily, I would rat out just about every human being in this world except for you. That and you're hiding a pretty hefty secret from me. At least I can do is keep yours. Milo. Milo, can you hear me? How many fingers? Two. What's my name? Mr. C. What year is it? Fall. That's close enough. I'm really sorry, boss. No, 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 don't be. I'm the one who's sorry. I was just doing what you asked. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I went to Miss Howard's bachelorette party, kept an eye out. Uh, you know, real subtle. It's all right, Milo. But then, Lulu talked me into doing this stupid strip tease. I don't want to hear about a strip tease. What strip tease? Uh, I didn't give him the full Milo. Well, at least I don't think so. But anyway, there was this moment when I thought, whoa, breeze. And then I went to get dressed, and Miss Howard followed me to the back, and the next thing I know, the hands were okay. everywhere. Milo, Milo, you have to understand something, okay? You know that wasn't Miss Howard, that was Connie. 
Kate, yeah. she's sick, and she still is. I know, I'm sorry, boss. Uh, it must be killing I me. should not have taken it out on you, okay? It was my fault. No, no, it was my fault. Okay, Connie walked because of me. Thank you. Thank you so much for not telling Carly. I mean, Michael, trust me, and you know I already feel bad enough keeping the secret from him. You're not just keeping a secret from Michael. You're keeping a secret from everybody. Well, I know, Michael's but I don't want special. my slip causing problems for Michael and his father. Your secret is safe with me. Well, your secret may be safe with Star, but with me, not so much. AJ Quartermain? My God, I haven't seen you since you were a teenager. It's nice to see you too, Anna. It starts under these circumstances. Well, yeah. I thought you were dead. <laughs> What's that old saying? Uh, rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. Mm. Paul McCartney, right? Mark Twain. Ah, good to know. And from what I hear, uh, you were dead too. Seems like all the best ones come back, right? Well, in your case, looks like Mr. Quarterman here had some pending charges at the time of his supposed death. Kidnapping, fraud, and attempted murder. Why can you not see AJ for who he really is? He is my son, Really? Carly. Well, your son, AJ, he tried to kill your other son, Jason. He actually shot your husband, Alan, in the back. And then he kidnapped your grandson, Michael, and tried to make me believe that he was dead. But damn, you should be proud of your son. He was desperate, Carly, from all the years of your lies and your scheme. AJ was and is a snake, OK? And if you wouldn't have snuck him out of the country, he would actually be in prison paying for the crimes that he committed against your own family. Don't put this on me. I have nothing to feel guilty about. Well, try telling that to Michael. Ooh, you've been a busy boy. Has he been read his rights? Yeah, he has. Let him have a phone call and book him. Settle in, AJ. I have a lot of questions for you. Wait. Nothing happens to my father without me. Obviously, we're gonna have a little talk here. Go to hell. Okay. That's the way you want to play. Remember Ankara? Where I found you rotting in a prison? Do you? Do you remember the smell? The filth? The beating? Do you remember that? I liberated you. I brought you here. I helped you out. Brought you here to live out your life, to heal in the Alps, Alpine lakes, meadows, and what the hell have you? With the electric fences and guards, I came from one prison to another. OK, you want to go back? That's fine with me. It's just a word. You want to go back? I'll be happy to return you to your mind, minders in, in Turkey. No? Well, I thought so. Remember, you came here by choice, Duke. Angra, are you? <laughs> this is some choice. You opted to remain here in my care, and all I ever asked for was a little conversation. I told you the story of my life. I told you everything. I told you my life before Anna. I told you my life with Anna, I've given you everything that you asked for. Yeah, and then some us disgusted to realize that one of the memories you told me was a lie. A very important one, too. What do you mean? What do I mean? I mean, you lied! That's what I mean! All the trust there ever were between you and I are gone, and you caused me a major setback, and for that you are gone. Suffer so bad. Smoke before you meet your maker? I'm not about to dart now. <laughs> so, things aren't going according to plan in Port Charles. My friends haven't accepted the circumstances surrounding my return. Oh, on the contrary. They've been very receptive in Port Charles. Anna especially. You see, like most people, Anna would rather live with a little inconsistency than end up disillusioned. I've been quite convinced. Now, what are you doing here? You've been caught, haven't you? 
I knew it. With the right well-placed lie, I knew Anna would figure you out. Yeah, but she hasn't. See, all Anna sees when she looks at me is a man that loves her. A man she loves in return. If your masquerade is successful, then what are you doing here? Well, someone did see through the mask, but that's only a minor problem. She's in no position to tell Anna, and neither are you. Michael, I understand your concern, but I think it's best you just go home, let us do our job, right? Well, not until you talk to a lawyer. <laughs> Look, Please Michael, we were gonna handle this by the book. You do not need to stay here. I can keep him company. Please. Thank you, son. Look, my advice, don't say anything without a lawyer. Monica said she called, so I'm sure they're on their way. Okay. Let's talk about how you drugged AJ. Let's talk about AJ pushing me down the stairs when I was five months pregnant. Or let's talk about you, Monica, and all the months you caused Michael a post-traumatic stress. When he thought he saw AJ smothered with a pillow, you knew all along that he was alive. What loving grandmother does that? A desperate one who had her grandchild stolen and her son destroyed. No, AJ destroyed his own life because he's a liar and a drunk, and he turned into a flat-out psychopath. You know, when this is all over, you and Sonny are going to lose Michael. Let me tell you something. You didn't get Michael when he was a baby, and you sure as the hell won't get him now. Well, that, that was epic. Well, Carly just had A.J. arrested. Dr. Q, I hate to make it worse for you, but Tracy's on the loose. Oh. Well, since Monica's lawyer hasn't shown up, I'm gonna put a call into Alexis. Alexis Davis? With Christina's mother? All right, who you kidnapped? That would be a conflict of interest. But look, maybe she'll take your case on just for one night, though, through the arraignment. <sighs> So, do you have any idea how A.J. walked away from his own death? No, he's not talking. But from what I saw at the Quartermain house, I think his mother's behind it. Mm -hmm. I understand her motivation, but she'll have to be brought in for questioning. So, look, is this accurate that he kidnapped three children? Michael, is Alexis still Sonny's attorney? She uh, quit for a while, but she's back. Oh, I mean, look, even if she would take my case for one day, Sonny's not going to go for that. He can't stand me. <laughs> 